Hi, this is Jackie, and this video is going to show how you can teach the concepts of some high-level switching using a generic system. So for today's demonstration, we're actually using our Cascadia system, which is one of our newest products. Um, Cascadia is representative of a typical Western system. It has several different types of generation, like we have a lot of hydro here in the Northwest, and a lot of station layouts that are typical to this area. So what we're going to do, um, I'm in the system map right now, which is, uh, we're in one of the eastern VAs in the Cascadia system. We're going to go to the Spokane station, and what we're going to do today is we are actually going to switch out the Transformer 3 right here for maintenance. Now you can see the station is kind of a unique layout. This is actually one that um, I learned when I took a switching class with uh, a utility in Texas, and this was one of the one of the higher level switching exercises that we actually had to perform. So one of the first things you might notice is this is a typical what could be called a main and transfer uh, main and transfer layout um, and this is actually run with what they call the inspection bus typically de-energized. So in order to perform our switching there's a couple of things we're going to have to note. One being that this is actually de-energized so we're going to have to test this before we do anything else. And the other thing that you'll notice is the low side switch and the bypass switch for this Transformer 3 are both manually operated non-load brake switches. So in order to safely switch out this Transformer without causing any equipment damage, we're going to have to create a parallel path so that we can get this low side switch and this bypass switch open. So this is basically how we're going to go about that. Remember the important thing in switching is to know is to know every action that you're going to take and to, to know what the result of that's going to be and to verify that what you expected to happen actually happened. So you never want to take a step without knowing what the result's going to be. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to test our inspection bus to make sure that there's no shorts, no faults, nothing wrong with it. So we're going to close this bus tiebreaker. All right, you'll see that our inspection bus has been energized and we're up to about 12 kV, which is what we should be for this for this system. All right, so we're going to, now that we've tested that, we're going to reopen our bus tiebreaker, and we're actually going to energize this inspection bus through our bypass switch. Now the reason that we do this is because when we actually put these transformers in parallel, we're going to be making that parallel across this bus tie, because you always want to make a parallel, make or break a parallel using a circuit breaker. So now you can see, yep, our inspection bus is energized. We're up to our proper voltage. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to we're going to want to equalize the loading across these transformers. So we're going to need to close these two section breakers, number 120. See that breaker come closed, and number 230. And you'll see that breaker come closed, and we'll see the loading shift around on our transformers one and two. All right, now the very last thing that we have to do before we can open this low side switch is we need to actually make our parallel, which we're gonna do across this bus tie breaker right here. All right, and now you'll see that we've created this parallel path, which will allow us to safely operate the low side switch of our transformer three, which we're gonna do right now. So now I see the low side swi switch of this transformer has come open. Now in order to actually remove the load from this transformer, we're going to reopen our bus tie 10 switch. Because you always want to make or break your load through a circuit breaker if possible, since those switches are not actually ready to do that. And now you'll see our transformer 3 is unloaded. So in order to properly isolate this transformer, we need to reopen this bypass switch which is, gonna de which is going to de-energize the low side, and it's also going to de-energize this inspection bus. All right, so the very last thing we're going to do is we're going to open our high side switch for our transformer 3. And you can see now that this has turned, now this transformer has turned white, the associated bus work has turned white, and all three of our switches are open. So you can see how you can teach a relatively a relatively high level switching concept by using a generic station.